Yeah, I see you later, Jack. See you, mate. Hi, how are you? Oh, no water. Oh, you've drunk in that one. Don't worry, Ash. I can't. Sure? Ask. Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Yeah, a, a roller coaster of last. Yeah, 10 minutes was obviously very up and down. Um, yeah, I'm okay. Settled down now. Um, enjoy this evening. Um, but yeah, already sort of switched focus onto how I get the group ready for the for the next one. So um, yeah, I'm fine. Not only the game itself was quite crazy. Of course, you had the delay kickoff, trouble getting to the ground. Had that really impact on the preparation? Yeah, it was it was tough. We we set off from the the hotel as as usual. Um, roads were clear, and then there was an accident just in front of us. So, obviously, firstly, hope everyone involved's okay. Um, and then we were, yeah, unfortunately, we were sat without being able to move for sort of 55 minutes. Um, then we arrived. People were pushing hard to get us to kick off at five past three. Um, Obviously, I was pushing hard to delay it as long as we could because the lads need their normal preparation time. I didn't see the rush, really. Um, so, yeah, I was pushing hard to get it as long as we could. Sort of safety reasons for the players need their normal prep. We've got a big week next week with three games in it. Can't afford to lose people because they've not managed to warm up properly. So, I was pushing hard to delay it. And thankfully, we... Yeah, it looks like we delayed it just enough because the yeah, the performance of the players, especially at the start of the game, I thought was excellent. I thought we were the dominant side for for the first half, controlled possession and Spurs main threat was, was counter attack really. And um made a few changes, especially to Shea Brown Smith came out. Is that tactical? Is that to kind of protect him to make sure that you miss those big games coming up and of course he's warmed up in a way? Yeah, Mat Matty Vigna firstly, so he was I thought he was excellent today. He's um arrived and um, hadn't played much at Roma, hadn't trained much, um, especially at the intensity that we train. So we were building him up. He got an injury in training, which set him back. So he's taken a while. Um, yeah, I thought he was excellent today, and he was ne he was never going to last 90 minutes. But I thought the uh, the change of shape that we were going to go with gave us an opportunity to to give Matty a go. Uh, and of course, Smudge having nine yellow cards was was a consideration. Um, not one that I'm overly fussed about. I would have. Would have been happy to play Smudge if we, as you can see by the fact that we put him on. Um, but of course, if we can, if we can avoid Smudge picking up ten yellow cards um, next week as well, West Ham, it'll be, yeah, it'll be good for us. Gareth, four wins in seven now. Um, what do you think has been the key to this excellent four? Uh, yeah, fine margins on results. I think even today, real fine margins. Um, thought the second goal they score should have been given offside and then obviously we score a very late winner so fine margins but the key sorry the key from our point of view is um yeah we've we've kept performances at a real good level i think and you you give yourself a chance then if you keep sticking to what you believe in and you keep performing um you, you hopefully you you pick up enough results to to make sure that we achieve the the goal that we set out to in in august Making sure the team's confidence and belief they can stay up being something that has been hard for you, or has it actually been something that they've always believed and that's been key points as well? Yeah, it's hard to know how they feel um, on a week to week basis. I always try and yeah, I always try and put myself in their shoes, but um, yeah, always very conscious of making sure that after tough spells we've we've had some this year especially after the world cup when we were we were a bit short we hadn't we, january we hadn't done any business yet or um december the window wasn't open and then we had some real bad injury issues um so at that point making sure you keep the belief and now my my thought as i said already is how i make sure that the lads are now refocused to to get them to to the vitality at three o'clock next week against West Ham and make sure they're ready to go again. So yeah, I don't, I don't believe too much in momentum. I think um, today's win's great. We we enjoy it for tonight. Um, but yeah, that, it'll have no impact on next weekend, whether we'd lost tonight, uh, lost today or, or won. West Ham would still be coming to, to take three points off us. So yeah, we need to make sure that we enjoy this evening, get prepped and ready to go again. Um, you mentioned that your only other visits here had been as a supporter, bringing your son along mm -hmm. as a Tottenham fan, and if you had any reaction from your son to the day's result. I haven't yet. I'm looking forward to going to see all of the children. They're upstairs. So, um, yeah, wife and children upstairs. And 
they were Bournemouth fans for today, which is strange for them because they yeah they are big Spurs fans, but they they knew how big it could be for us. So um, yeah, they'll be pleased, I'm sure. Looking forward to spending the evening, chill out, try not to open the laptop, have a cup of tea, maybe watch match of the day this week as as we won, and uh, yeah, enjoy the evening. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't celebrate many goals. I think I celebrated two of the three today. So, um, yeah, celebrations are becoming slightly more regular. Uh, maybe as we get nearer to the end of the season, maybe the goals feel slightly bigger. But, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone enjoys a, 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 a last-minute winner, especially with the, the goals that we've suffered against us late this season. We've had so many unfortunate episodes where we performed well and lost points very late on. So to to go from one to three um, points in a very late goal was, was big for us. Yeah, so obviously the introduction of Dango was sort of that, trying to give us some legs and some pace because... Um, as I said earlier, I thought first half we had complete control, dominated the ball, um, deservedly get ourselves in front. But from that moment, Spurs haven't got much to lose. They're two one down at home to Bournemouth, and they start to push and press and throw attacking players on. So it turns into a little bit of a more of a rear guard action. We didn't show enough quality at times to have the ball under that pressure. We were keen to get to the the finish line I think we were clearing things when we could have tidied it up but yeah small criticism but um, yeah when they obviously they finished the game with Pirisic um, Son Kane Kulusevski Dan Juma um, on the pitch they're a big threat so um, yeah what the lads achieved today to see out a game um, against that and against such a good side it was well, yeah it was an incredible achievement especially with the fact that they um they were given a goal which, which shouldn't have been a goal. How significant is that? Yeah, I don't, I don't look at the gap. I think um could change to three very quickly. Um, could easily be back to level pegging by the time we finished against West Ham next week. So, yeah, never too, never too concerned with the table. Of course, I look and I know what's going on, but... Just a big three points for us today. Spoke to the boys um, before the game around belief. Um, first thing you need when you come to a place this big and a big club is to believe that you can actually get something because, um, yeah, they've got a lovely new stadium. They've got England's captain and one of the best strikers ever playing up front. But we can come here and we can get a result today. Um, and the first step was believing that and they did. Um, so, yeah, big result. Yeah, uh, no, I think, of course, winning games changes the mood around the training ground. And when you win one, you can believe you can win another one. So I understand there's a small part of it, but I always, yeah, I'm always really keen on this one's done. So this this win will not help us next week against West Ham. It will play no part at all. So need to make sure that the lads are reset and we just approach it like another game. Um, yeah, West Ham aren't going to care that we've just come to White Hart Lane or, sorry, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and um, and won a game of football. They're going to come to to beat us and take three points. So we um, reset and get ready. Uh, a few weeks ago, after one of the you said the players asked you for a day off and you implied that they need to be more. Have there been no requests? No, no requests. We um, Obviously, we've got eight days this time till the next game. So the week will look slightly different to normal. But... No, no requests from the players. So unless they message me, are we? Um, we will be in as normal. Gary, how did you make the finish for the winning goal? It seemed remarkably calm given the timing and the context of the game. Incredible, yeah. Um, Dom did really well initially. Uh, managed to wriggle, release the release the ball to Dango at the perfect time, and yeah, for Dango to show the composure at his age to come inside onto his weak foot and slot it in the far corner with how big a goal it could be was yeah was really impressive so um yeah real good goal okay thank, thank you very much, much guys. guys have a good weekend